ever notice that every artist you talk to thinks they're original? It's a, yeah, it's a very revealing kind of vulnerable process. They all think they're making something nobody's ever seen before. I think that I've created a space for myself in my work, my practice, to be able to be myself. But the truth is, originality, for it to mean anything, has to be a unicorn thing. And most people will never be unicorns. I think that these people are, are photocopies of photocopies. And I, I want to see something real. I want to see something original. But I don't see it here tonight. But I know that there's some artists listening right now that have the potential to be original. They have latent unicorn genes that haven't manifested yet. Either because they've been given the wrong information or the wrong environment to prosper in. If that's you, I'd like to show you rare creatures of the earth, just how you can coax your unique instincts out into the wild. Today we are reading from the Book of Influence. You are listening to Make Art Not Content, brought to you by The Mystery School. The Mystery School? What's that? The Mystery School is an online program that helps creatives all over the world conquer the biggest obstacle they face, themselves. Enroll today at makeartnotcontent.com. <laughs> what I'm attempting to do here has never been done before. If you don't feel that way about your art, then what's the point? Are you trying to blend in? If you want to be original, then you have to cozy up to the fact that how you do one thing is how you do everything. Right now, you never break the rules, you never take risks. Travel where everyone else travels. You can't even go one day without social media, but you can go 15 days without art. Yet somehow, I'm supposed to believe that this same person, when they go home at night, is going to create the next groundbreaking piece of work that's gonna blow everyone's minds? Come on. You wanna be original? Then question all your actions. What you eat, where you go out, your surroundings, who your friends are. Make sure nothing you consume is norm core or commonplace or run of the mill. If you want to be original, keep experimenting. Look, when you're only making one piece of art every few months, of course the last thing you're going to want to do is experiment. You can't afford to, because now the stakes are so high, right? You gotta make everything amazing because it's been so long. But when you create at a sickeningly high output, only then can you afford to make the kind of mistakes that lead to epiphanies. That's how you create the kind of luck that makes you land on something that no one has ever seen before. But very few artists are experimenting these days because they're trying to make everything appeal to the algorithms. That's how you guarantee applause and validation, right? But babe, that's also how you guarantee that you will never be original. Original, original, original. Tack this on your wall. A Mark Nepo quote that I love. The flower doesn't try to attract bees, bro. The flower blooms and the bees come. Accentuate every single thing that you can think about yourself that is 100% you, but that isn't popular right now. You have a loudspeaker blasting in your head, day in and day out, showing you the way to conformity. You know what it's called? Social media. And you know what you're doing? You're poisoning your mind with that shit. Look at your posts, your stories, your captions, and even your art. Is that someone pushing the envelope or someone being a people pleaser? You haven't become a one of one yet. You're still just one of many. If you're cool with that, fine. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you want to be a unique creature walking the face of the earth, you have to invest your time in exploring every possible angle of your imagination. You want to be original? 
Listen to your inner voice before it becomes a stranger. The only reason you don't realize that your unique traits, your odd habits, your God-given body shape, your cute little quirks, your funny sayings, and your bizarre tastes are fucking cool is only because it's not what's trending in popular culture right now. So you downplay yourself to please the algorithms and the gatekeepers. But you know what's gonna happen one day? Someone with courage and conviction is gonna come around and make all of these things a household name. And guess what? You're gonna have to watch from the sidelines as they reap all the benefits. Or you could go first. Only by being different can you get people to pay attention. But only by being yourself can you get people to care. You want to be original? Then start by accepting that the real you isn't someone that everyone is going to like. But it is someone that a prized group of people would ride or die for. But how will they ever find you if you keep dancing like a monkey for the masses? Ask yourself this question as you fall asleep tonight. What's natural and easy for me to do that no one else could do without faking it? If you can meditate on that every evening, I swear before long, you're going to wake up with the answer. If you want to be original, you don't get pop in by copying what's already popping. You make waves by sharing something new that's 100% yourself. Am I the first person to say this? Nope. So why do bottom feeder artists still copy each other? Well, first of all, because they aren't really artists. They're content creators with a dream of being famous. They don't care about the audience or even about art. They care about the gatekeepers. You know, the people who can give them clout. Managers, producers, agents, studio owners, labels, art dealers. All those people will encourage you to dilute what you do just so that they can earn their percentage. If you're an actual artist that's been led down this path, like accidentally, I urge you, stop listening to the gatekeepers. If you want to be original, listen to the audience. Your people, the actual fans of your art, the kids who would sacrifice their lunch money for your merch, they will always reward your authenticity, your originality, and your daring. They will throw money at anyone who can say or do what they only wish they could say or do themselves. They don't have what you have. That's why you give them life. You want to be original? I do. Whatever's happening right now, consider it already done. Amen, brother. If you want to be the next big thing, I do. Do something that no one else is doing. No, no. Be a one of one. Be someone that's impossible to replace or copy. In other words, be you.